Hi everyone, I'm Lara, the Tigress of the Light, and I would like to offer you some light language today for standing in your power. Now, this can be interpreted a variety of different ways. The channeling is um, going to be more closely related to um, standing in your power against those who are trying to knock you off your center. So for those of you who are feeling like, um, you know, you could be in, in an abusive situation or you could be feeling like someone is trying to take your power, making you feel weak, making you feel like you don't have a voice, that you can't speak up. It can be a variety of different things. So just know that, that take this and apply it to whatever situation is suiting you in your unique life situation and believe and trust that the messages that come through um, apply to you however they they do in your world okay so for everyone that's going to be a little bit different and it's okay it's okay however you interpret it and how you work with it the messages are coming from a very high and divine place so you can just relax with it and say okay this is going to be an interesting um, message let's see how we can apply it to my life story all right so we're going to get started if you've never heard light language before, it can sound a little bit funny. It is an, a type of energy healing. It is an activation, meaning that it will actually increase um, our sense of well-being, our sense of um, even security on in this world. Uh, it speaks to our higher aspects, meaning it speaks to our heart and it speaks to our higher self and even our soul. It is a frequency of information that that those higher aspects know how to tune into and work with so it often bypasses the conscious mind sometimes we can really take these messages and work with it on the conscious level but a lot of times it, a lot of the work is done on the subconscious level which was kind of awesome for those of us who who have a little bit of trouble um facing things head on or for those of us who are just because what is it 95 percent of our of our consciousness is is subconscious so we need to do work on those levels too and this is light language is incredibly powerful for that the other important thing to note is that kind of like what i said before each person who listens to this is going to interpret it in their own way that means on the conscious level or subconscious level the light language works with you as an individual in the ways that you need it the most meaning if you need it to go a certain way your higher aspects the heart the soul the higher self are going to perfectly mold it to what you need um, which can look very very different from the person sitting next to you so again i come back to it's okay however you work with it it's your journey your healing it's all good so we're going to begin now i invite you to feel your feet and to feel your heart space. You can even place your hands over your heart if you like, and you can even imagine breathing in and out through your heart space. And this just helps us to connect to our body more, and it helps us to go into our energy body, our energy field, which is actually like if you stand out and you put your arm um, out in front of you or out to the side, it's about three feet around you, is that's your aura. So it helps you to tune into that space a little bit more. And when we get into these really good um, spaces where we can actually feel the edge of our aura, of our energy body, our energy field, you can sometimes feel the light language a little stronger. So for some people, that's an important step. Um, for others, they'll feel it just instantly. So, you know, <laughs> to each their own, right? So this is for standing in your, in your power Take a couple of deep breaths. Salotto to Casadala Takia Sadola no ma paye say it anano Catala is a good nama tala to Catana is a dogoba Sahia no tala no one may say it all. Ya prata pay us to the basi and no capa. So protocus and a papetalano to your sayo to Cassana to Cona Massa to Cona Massa to Cona Massa. So ya talana is yet a secuna da batana no tatagiana nana is yet no manana. If you are watching this video, 
you didn't come to this planet as sort of a weak person and you don't need to continue on feeling this lack of strength within your being, okay? If you're watching this video, you can take that as a message that you are here to be strong. And perhaps this is something that you are working through right now. And perhaps this is something that you're just needing a reminder. When we walk across this land in our strength and power, we're in such a beautiful, relaxed state and we're in some amazing harmony and, and gentleness with the world around us. We're not in fear, we're not fighting it. We're just with our environment. So we hold ourselves in this strength that we're cultivating and we can be a witness to what goes on around us. And therefore, we don't end up taking things personally. We don't get triggered and we don't get upset. There's no need to. Because we're just witness. When you're in your power, that is a key. A key that you know that you are in your power. When you can just witness. And someone can be flying off the handle and you're not bothered by it. You just kind of go, whoops. <laughs> My, hope you come back soon. So that is our goal. And that is part of this message in this video is to help us to get to that space where we can just be so strong. So we're just going to release what is ready, willing, and able to be released that actually um, makes it harder for us to stand in our power. We're just going to release that now. What's ready, willing, and able in our highest good. You can see it just falling off you. These energies, these thoughts, these beliefs, whatever it is. And it doesn't need to be known. You can just see it, feel it, sense it, perceive it, however you do. But it's just melting off you, flying off you, disintegrating, flowing down like water, however it is, whatever is perfect for you. It's just being released from within and around your being. And we're going to take all this energy that's being released and it's moving now into this beautiful purification flame. It's almost as if the little bugs that were flying around were taking it all away. Gone with the bugs. So with that out of the way, we can step forward into our new power. So it's as if what's being built around you now is this platform is forming around your feet that is going to radiate up into our bodies our own amazing energy, our own divine connection that is just so powerful, unwavering, unquestioning, just solid in who we are. 
Now we're going to invite our own strength to strengthen deep within our being, deep in our body, that we can tune into anytime. ตักขัดสะตะกะตะนะตะกะตะมะตะยะตะไดตะกีสะกะตะดะมะตะยะตะกะสะนะตะกีตะนะตะกีสะกะตะดะไดตะไดตะดุกะสะกะตะยะสะ
So that's where we all want to be. That's the strength where we all want to be coming from. So I invite you to do whatever it is that you need to do that gets you into that space to seek out the people who you resonate with. And if I'm one of those people, you can send, send me a message and we will figure out what is best for you. Channeling light language, distance healing sessions, personalized light codes, and spiritual counseling, as well as, of course, the books, okay? So all blessings to you, my friends. I wish you the most beautiful day, and we will see you again very, very soon.